Despite what those numbers indicate, serious crimes still happen on campus. Sergio Meyer joins us in the studio with more on one of those recent incidents. Sergio? Thanks. That incident is a case of sexual assault. We talked to the Aurora Center at Boynton about the effects on victims, specifically a freshman on campus. Roberta Gibbons helps sexual assault victims. She says her job isn't easy. Failing their classes or they gained 20 pounds or they lost 20 pounds or they're feeling depressed or nightmares or anxiety. For 10 years, she's seen what rape victims go through, but she prefers to call them rape survivors. More than anything, what's taken away from an individual when they're sexually assaulted is their sense of control. Recently, police reported a student was raped in one of the Superblock dorms. The girl was 18 years old and she knew her attacker. It's almost always at the hands of somebody that the person knows. It's called acquaintance rape. And in this case, the attacker was another student in the same dorm. It's an acquaintance sexual assault. The, the, vic the reported victim knew her, um, knew who this person was. More than 80% of sexual assaults are acquaintance rapes. Out of all campus rapes, only 5% are reported. Although the Aurora Center encourages victims to report the crime, they don't force them. Or they're even thinking about it. Um, what people can do is to go to the hospital, to the emergency room here on campus. Even when a rape is reported, victims may wait months to do it. They just want um, to sort of move on with their lives and they don't want to go through a court, court trial or anything. Roberta says it's something she sees all too much, often because survivors aren't sure whether or not they should consider it rape. I've had people come in and talk to me and tell me what happened to them, and it clearly fits the definition of sexual assault at the University of Minnesota, you know. There doesn't have to be screaming and weapons involved for this to happen. She says the healing process may take months or even years, but it's part of going from a victim to a survivor. Roberta encourages anyone who even thinks they were assaulted to contact the Aurora Center, or better yet, talk to a friend. Jake and Laura? All right, thanks, Sergio. No names have been released because the case is under investigation, but police interviewed the attacker in the campus rape. They hope to charge him with the crime within a month. 